What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to fade your video to black in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now what I did was I took my camera and I filmed myself as if I'm closing one of my videos. So if you're familiar with some of my other videos you would know that when I close the video I say if you like the video or if you found it useful give it a like and a comment yada yada yada. So I filmed myself saying that and I imported that footage into my Premiere Pro project. And after importing it into my project, you can see that it's broken up into two tracks. This one track right here is a light blue box. That's the visuals. And then right below, you'll see a lot of wavy lines right here. That's the audio because that's really the two parts of a video is the visuals and the audio. So to fade your video to black, we'll be applying it to this light blue box right here because we're really doing something to the visuals of the video. So because fade to black classifies as a video transition in Adobe Premiere Pro, we're most likely find it in a video transitions folder, which I have over here in my effects window. Now, if for whatever reason your effects window is not over here on the side panel like mine is, we can go up here to the top where it says window and then click on effects and then it should pop up right over here. Now, just like I said, fade to black classifies as a transition. So we'll find it under this video transitions folder right here. So we're going to click this little arrow here and then we're going to go to dissolve and then click on dip to black. So I'm going to click and drag that onto my timeline like so and now if I zoom in on my timeline you can see that we applied the transition to the end of the video now I'm gonna move my playhead over here so I can give you guys like a little like a little rough view of what it would look like now this blue line here that's my playhead that's gonna tell us where we are in the timeline so I'm gonna click and drag that to where we apply the transition so that way I can show you guys what the video would look like after we apply it so I'm going to do that and now you can see the video dipped to black. So just like all other transitions and effects in Adobe Premiere Pro, you can set transitions to be a certain duration. What does that mean? So it's basically how long your transition will take to play all the way through. So after dragging that transition onto my timeline, let me click on that real quick. And then over here in my effects controls, you can see that the duration right here is 30 frames, which is very short. When I say very short, I mean it's less than a second. And typically when you're making projects in Premiere Pro, you'd want your transition duration to be at least one second long. So to change the duration of your transition in Premiere Pro, you can either click on it in your timeline like so, and it'll come up in your effects controls window like so. But if for whatever reason your effects controls window is not here, you can go up here to window and click on effect controls. Or you can right click on the transition in your timeline, and then you can hit set transition duration, and you can set that to a custom amount. So before we set that to a custom duration, let's talk about these numbers that are here. So this first number right here where the number 47 is, that would be the frames per second. So your video could be 50 frames per second, 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second, or whatever. This number tells you the frames within your second. So if I were to go to the number 13, that would be 13 seconds within my video. And then right here where my playhead is specifically, that tells me I'm 13 seconds within my video and then up to 47 frames. And that can further specify where you are in your timeline. But when we're messing with the duration of the transition in our timeline, the amount of frames per second that your video is formatted to, it would equal the amount of one second. So in my case, my video is formatted at 50 frames per second. So if I were to change this number 30 to the number 50, I would get one second. That means my transition will play out in one second. So I can either put the number one here in this second group of numbers or put the number 50 into this first set of numbers right here and it would still format to one second. And because this group of numbers here would be seconds, the next one over would be minutes and the next one over would be hours. So in my case, I'm gonna set the duration of my transition to about Let's, let's say let's say four seconds four seconds so I'm gonna put the number four here into this second group of numbers here and then hit OK and you can see in my timeline that the transition box it's now four seconds long and if I were to hover over that box 
and I, this little specification window comes up, you can see that the duration is four seconds. And now let me take my playhead and show you guys what it looks like now. And there we go, we faded the video to black. But you may notice that we don't have a box like this for the audio that's underneath. But that's because we applied the video transition to the video specifically. It doesn't do anything for the audio. So if we go back here to our effects window, there's a separate folder for audio transitions. So if I expand this folder here in this folder, we can apply a separate transition for the audio so that way when the video fades to black, the audio will as well. But that's the main reason the video and the audio are on separate tracks. So I'm going to take this exponential fade transition and I'm going to drag that to my audio track right here. And now it's in my timeline. And just like we did with the dip to black transition, we can change the duration of that as well. So I'm going to click on that box. And because my effect controls window is up here, I can change the duration of that transition right up here. Or you can do what we did before and right click on it and go to set transition duration and do it that way. But that's up to you. But in my case, I changed it up here in my effect controls window so I can hit the return or enter button to confirm that. And you can see that that transition box is now the same size as our fade to black transition for the video. So now that I have two transitions, one for the video and one for the audio, I'm now going to export this video and put it up on the screen of this video so I can show you guys what we did in today's video. Here we go. And that's going to do it for the video. If you liked it or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. And yeah, that is how you do it. That is how you fade your video to black. And I did give a little short tutorial about how to do the same with audio. So there you go. We have two tutorials today. But yeah, that is how you do it. If you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. And tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I got my nigga like